On today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the DC Collectibles, the new Batman Adventures, Batman. This is figure one from, so far, a four-figure release, uh, also celebrating 75 years of Batman. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about getting this guy open up. It looks like he comes with a slew of different accessories. It also looks like he comes with an alternate cape, and I'm not quite sure what that is about yet, but uh, we'll find out soon enough. It looks like there's a little bit of paint that's carried over to the outer clamshell case, but uh, luckily there's not too much paint that's come off his bat symbol, so... So far, so good. On the back of the package, nothing. Just other than the New Adventures logo, which features uh, the Tim Drake Batman, Nightwing, and then uh, Batman in the back there. I guess the only one that's really missing from this image, I think, is Batgirl. She should be somewhere in there as well. But uh, no, nothing there. This comes to us from the folks over at DC Collectibles. Uh, I have been extremely excited about getting this guy opened up. First of all, I've been extremely excited about getting this guy in hand. But what I am going to do is take a break. I'm going to get this opened. And when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the new Batman Adventures, Batman. There's more heading your way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. There's really a lot to cover with Batman. He is, yes, currently laying down as well. But before we have a look at Batman, I just want to show you guys the pamphlet that comes included with, uh, well, really all the Batman figures. One side features Batman the Animated Series. The other side features Batman Adventures. And then uh, shows you a breakdown of all the characters. Uh, one, two, three, and four are Batman, Two-Face, Mr. Freeze, and Catwoman. Currently, those are all currently out. They're all available. And uh, I have picked up all of these. We only have already looked at the Catwoman, or look at the Batman right now, and I'll look. We'll look at the Two Face and Mr. Freeze in separate videos. But uh, a really good lineup. It's interesting that they kind of have gone all over the place. It hasn't been just Batman, strictly Batman the Animated Series. It hasn't been strictly Batman the New Adventures. But it's interesting that Batman of the the lineup. They didn't go with the animated series first, and I think we are getting an animated series Batman, the original animated series with the yellow around the the bat logo but i prefer the new adventures batman i'm just curious as to why like batman two-face and mr freeze are all versions of the new adventures designs and not the original animated series just a little side thought joker is still the animated series treatment so is robin so is man bat but really a lot of these characters are from new adventures designs just kind of find that interesting fold that up i'm gonna yes definitely hold on to that put that to the side the other thing that comes included with Batman is a uh, a Batman turnaround display stand. The exact same thing that we got with Catwoman, just with Batman feature on the front. I have the Batman Bible somewhere, which I think has the turnaround designs on there as well. But uh, you, it co comes also with a display stand that you can only use the pole one way. See, one side is kind of half circle, the other side is a full circle. You need the side that's a half circle to line it up with the base and it just goes into place like that from there you're going to take the clip and this just slides down so this really could slide up and down depending on how high you need your figure to be and then these also open to hold the character i think i might ultimately use that for batman because i find he's a little problematic to stand um, that you could take the cape and just kind of tuck it further back and then you just take these little clamps and fold them around his waist and then you have Batman standing, which he should really stand easily enough on his own, but he's a little problematic with his ankle. And I'll show you that in a second. The thing about Batman is it's weird that he comes with certain things where I think to myself, as a collector, I'm surprised like why they included it. Case in point, Batman comes with a cape. Now he comes with a rubbery cape that's Basically, just it's just a straight down cut, and he's got the Batman points down at the bottom there. The reason I bring that to your attention is because he does already have a cape, but the cape that they included with him is uh, almost something you would see more with the Kenner treatment figures, where Kenner a lot of times just gave us a cape that kind of billowed to the side, and that's what we get here at Batman. 
I, pref I wish they had packaged the Batman with this cape rather than the cape that flows to the side, but I don't even know why they gave us two. I know as a collector, I like, I like that I can design and customize Batman the way I want, but I'm really surprised that they just gave us two capes. I don't knock and criticize the fact that we get extra things. Extra things are always good. It's just odd that we get two different capes. To change out Batman's cape, you kind of have to just wiggle off his head. Not the easiest of feats, let me tell you. But with a little finagling, you can take the head off, and then this whole cape section basically just peels right off of the torso. The torso is neat enough that even if you wanted to, you could kind of design and display Batman without the cape too. Just kind of an idea, because he's done it a couple of times where he's fought like villains and he's taken off his cape and stuff like that, but you can just take the alternate cape just clip that back into place. Although the alternate cape's got all this schmutz all over it. I don't know why. I don't even know what that is. But he's got all this kind of excess schmutz all over it. But from there, the harder task then is getting the ball joint back into the neck. And then just applying a little bit of pressure to pop that back into place. If you personally ask me, this is how I want my Batman displayed. Straight cape down. Um, actually, you know, I think with the Night Quest Batman, I think his name is Night Quest, he did have a cape that really was just a drop cape down. It didn't actually uh, didn't billow off to the side. This is the preferred cape for me, at least. If you prefer, though, with this cape, at least you have the options. So, you know what? Let me backpedal a little bit. It's not too bad that you get extra accessories. It's a lot better than no accessories at all. Batman's face is decent. Once again, it's the... New Adventures Batman, so it's a little more stylized than the original animated series treatment. Still not happy with all this extra shine. It's almost like a paint that they've put on it. I could kind of write it off that maybe it's a little more of a, like a reflection off the cape. Wish it really wasn't there. But the rest of the coloring is very nice on Batman. It's not quite like a straight out gray either. It's almost got like a little bit of a almost a little bit of a greenish gray color to his cape. Also, a lot of the colors that were muted, uh, a lot of colors that are muted versus the original animated series treatment. So he doesn't have any of the yellow around the Bat logo. Instead of the yellow utility belt, it's more like a beige color. And a lot of the colors are very just basic black and white. But that's the way I prefer Batman. I think that's a really great looking design. Also, at Spotted Mention, he has a slew of different accessories. Most of his accessories really are from the hand department. Uh, he currently has closed fists. I find this one hand is a little loose. This one other hand isn't so bad. But uh, most of the most of the accessories are really just hands. You have a slew of hands ranging from like open hands for holding things. Um, you know, one specifically kind of for the batarang. Um, but mostly they're all like just opening hands. There's a total of uh, six hands, six extra hands, and then. He has one extra hand that has the grapple gun. This is a really neat touch. But the, what I'm talking about when it comes to why they kind of did two different things, he does come with a hand that's intended to hold the grapple gun. But this hand is sculpted with the grapple gun already in place. You can't take it out. You can't remove it. However, they also gave you a grapple gun just by itself. If he is going to have the option to hold his grapple gun... I'm perfectly fine with just giving us a hand that already has the grapple gun in place because there really isn't, like looking at the other figures, the other uh, the hands, there's not really a hand that's suitable for holding the grapple gun. Um, like even, if we just get Batman to put him on his display stand here. Just like so, like that. Uh, he doesn't really have a hand that's accommodating a grapple gun. Uh, yes, you can kind of get the hand wedged in, but there's not really one that's perfectly designed for the grapple gun so really giving us a hand that already is sculpted to ho hold it makes more sense to me it just makes more sense to me to have him like that uh, the other accessory he comes with is a batarang which is very small very 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 small and i would say be careful holding this or forcing it into his hand because the last thing you want to do is break this piece off but batarang certainly is a nice touch if you'd like to change any one of Batman's hands, it's a simple enough fix. You just kind of take the hand and wiggle it. I always say wiggle as you're pulling it out, because if you're just going to 
try to pull it and apply a lot of force to it, it could potentially break. And then from there, you're just gonna find a hand that best suits Batman. You know what, why not? Let's take the grapple gun hand and again, wiggle that into place. And then you got Batman with his grapple gun. On the other hand, oh, I see what I did there. On the other hand, I'm gonna wiggle the other hand out and replace that with, let's find, let's take this hand right here and just pop that into place. And then you got Batman with, uh, once again, an open hand. Now this hand looks like it's probably could be a little bit better suited for the grapple gun. But again, like why? I don't know. For me, if I'm gonna have it displayed with the grapple gun, why not? Why not I just have it like that? I don't need to worry. It doesn't bother me so much that I have to take the, the grapple gun out, put it back in. You know what, it's there. I'll just leave it, I'll leave it be. And then this one probably is a little too, little too big. Yeah, it's a little too big for the Batarang. But there you have Batman, both with accessories in hand. For Batman's articulation, that's one other problem, slight problem with this particular figure. And uh, as I've been following other guys out there, uh, you guys out there that have collected this figure yourself, I've, I've heard some horror stories when it comes to his ankles. I'll touch base on that in a second. But for the articulation on Batman, he does have a ball joint in the head. Being that also this is rubber, it allows the head to move up and down fairly easy, actually, considering, and also moves left and right. Shoulders are also on a ball hinge socket. A little more restricted, being that the, the shoulders, at least of this cape, sit further down than that of the other cape. The other cape you see is a little more rounded. This cape is more like a V cut. So it does limit a little more what you can do with the hands, with the arms, but the arms do move out. They do move forward and back. And then he does have that same joint in the elbow, which allows the elbow to rotate left and right and also hinge at that elbow point. Each of the hands also swivels, being that peg that we've already had a look at. Uh, waist swivels. And then the legs go forward, back, out, being that pin hinge, which a lot of people don't care for. I wish it wasn't as noticeable. It it hides it a little bit more on Batman, I guess because he's just a bigger looking figure. But yeah, you can still see these big sections where the pin is going through it. Uh, knees also bend. It's a little stiffer there. They don't hinge or anything. It's just, well, they don't swivel. It's not a swivel hinge. It only bends at the knee. And then when you get to the legs, which I've seen, I've seen pictures, I've seen pictures where you guys have had problems with some of these, these ankles. The ankles, it rotates at the boots. That's easy enough. Um, and then the feet hinge, but they're not the easiest of hinges. They're very, very small. I can feel that they're fragile when I move the, the, the actual ankle section. It feels fragile, but the, the feet, I, I wish there was a way, I don't know, I, I feel like the feet don't have as much movability as I wish they could have. The feet seem like they're on a slight angle, this foot especially, and there's not really a lot of doing, a lot of moving that I can do. They pivot slightly, the feet, but I'm very scared. I don't want to move it too much that that's going to break, because these, especially Batman's feet, Catwoman's feet were really small, but Catwoman was a small figure. Batman's a bigger figure, and he's got really small feet. It translates well from cartoon to figure, but again, I would just be using this display stand a lot more, I think, with Batman. Um, and also, too, like with his cape, this particular cape is not really the greatest to be suited for the display stand, because it does kind of butt right against that cape. He's a great figure. Don't get me wrong, he's a really great looking figure. He is an updated take on some of my favorite Batman designs of all time. I've loved the New Adventures Batman. That look for Batman is iconic for me. And really, to that extent, that design also carried over for the Justice League Batman too. It pretty much was this Batman, just with longer ears. And, and that, to me, defined Batman. This Batman is really great. They put a lot of care, they put a lot of effort into the figures. The same thing I said about the Catwoman. I'm worried a little bit about the ankles. I won't lie to you, I'm a little worried about the ankles. But the overall figure is really great. Um, one of those cases too that 
I can imagine figures like this will go up in value considerably down the road. This is a great example of a figure that you probably would want to get one now and, and buy a second one and keep the second one sealed. Because if you, I feel like if you, if you don't get the figure right now, if you miss your chance picking it the first time around, probably a year from now, these figures are going to be more expensive. So if you get a chance and you see them at a good price, and we're talking right now, these figures are only about 15, 15 to $18, depending on where you find them. That's a pretty good price for the, 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 the scope, the detailing that they put in these pieces. I would say, though, make sure you get them now um, before the prices start going up on them. Uh, for a rating, I'm going to give Batman here a 9. He's a great looking figure, and he has me excited for picking up and, well, for opening, I should say, the Two-Face and Mr. Freeze. Uh, stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more videos heading your way. Thanks for watching, as you always do. I'll see you guys next time.